A belly sauce are normally only portrayed as second or third within the food chain in the respective ecosystems. However, they have been around for longer than the giant carcodontosaurs and spinosaurs and outlived them, filling up a ton of apex predator niches in Lake Cretaceous, Africa, South America and Eurasia. Africa in particular is not that well known for bigger belly sauce, even though they had a member that outsized almost every other belly sauce and by extension Serrata or two. Even though it is undescribed, it would straight up jump into the top two biggest ceratosaurians. This is the so called Kenyan giant, also nicknamed the Titan Hunter, Titano Venator. Titano Venator is an undescribed abelisaur from Kenya. Shoutouts to Taylor McCoy for the nickname Titano Veneta Kenyansis, by the way. Anyways, the Titan Hunter lived about 66 million years ago in the Maastrichtian period. Early estimates did put it at 11 to 12 meters or up to 40 feet in length, making it almost certainly a mega theropod, aka a theropod with 5 metric tons or more in weight. However, based on the skull, Scaling from the closely related Abelisaurus would make Titano Venator 9.5 meters or just over 31 feet in length with a weight of 2 to 3 metric tons. It might be longer than Pycnominosaurus but it is less massive. If Titano Venator would be described now it would be second in size within Abelisaurus, it's in Ceratosauria. But there is one more Abelisaur from Morocco that is also undescribed, which is most certainly a lot bigger than Titano Venator, potentially even mega Megatheropod territory. A belly source had short, thick skulls, tiny or almost no arms, quite sharp teeth with a good grip for biting down on prey, as well as weird facial features such as bumps, horns and so on. But what about the abelisaurs hunting tools? Well, speed is one of them. Speaking about big abelisaurs, Pycnominosaurus would have probably mainly relied on short bursts of speed ambushing prey and biting down on them. Pycno is a bit bulkier than Titano Venator, therefore we might imagine Titano Venator being faster. So how fast can the Titan Hunter run? Most mid-sized and even bigger belly cells would have probably been able to run up to 30 km per hour or 18.6 miles per hour, and that is a conservative estimate. Carnotaurus was the speedster of the group, with it having been able to produce speeds of 56 km per hour or 35 miles per hour. However, since Abelisaurus is related more closely, we're gonna estimate Titano Venator's speed from Abelisaurus. Speculative evolution. Abelisaurus lived in an environment with the Megaraptor and Aerostian, which is specialized on not only ambushing but also running down prey due to its great endurance. Well, Abelisaurus would therefore have evolved the higher speed to minimize conflicts between it and the Aerostian. While Eorostian could run up to 30 km per hour or 18.6 miles per hour, Abelisaurus would have been able to produce a velocity of 40 km per hour or 24.8 miles per hour. And you're thinking, what does this have to do with Titano Venator? Well, I'm gonna length scale from Abelisaurus to roughly estimate the speed of Titano Venator. As always, take these estimates with a grain of salt since it's back evil. Scaling from an Abelisaurus with 7.3 meters to 24 feet in length and a speed of 40 km Kilometers per hour or 24.8 miles per hour, a Titano Venator with 9.5 meters or just over 31 feet would have been able to reach 30.7 km per hour or 19 miles per hour. Oh boy, we would have a problem if we traveled back in time and a Titano Venator is out for snacks. Anyways, Titano Venator lived in the Lapur sandstone formation of Kenya. This formation contains several unfortunately still unnamed and or indeterminate taxa, namely a titanosaur, two indeterminate sauropods, two unidentified igonodontians, one unknown ornithopod, an unnamed giant abelisaurid, which is probably the nickname Titano Venator Kenyansis. Another large unidentified theropod, another unidentified theropod, maybe even a spinosaurid, which would be well since the spinosaurus died out about 90 million years ago and the formation's timeline is 72 to 65 million years BC. Furthermore, there are remains of an anomososaurian, some dirosaurids and testudines. 
With its size, Titano Venator would probably have been one of the apex predators of Cretaceous Africa. Also, I can't wait for this animal and the rest of the formation's paleofauna to be described, cause it's such an exciting prospect to learn about this unknown Cretaceous fauna. Also Titano Venator joins the exclusive club of Maastrichtian theropods that could reach a size of 3 metric tons or more, alongside Tyrannosaurus and Albertosaurus in North America, Maip and Pycnominosaurus in South America and Tabosaurus, Ferricinosaurus and Dinochirus from Asia. As always, please correct me in the comments if I'm forgetting something here. That's it for this video, smash the thumbs up, the bell and the subscribe, as only legends do that and I know you all are. Also check out Instagram for fitness motivation and inspiration, as I'm on a mission to help more people get fit. Furthermore, you can also check out Twitter to hear my thoughts on all kinds of dinosaur stuff. And with that, I wish you a splendid day or evening. Goodbye.